welcome to my terrarium tour. You can see the bottom of the terrarium, there's a layer of rocks. This will be great for catching moisture if water spills and making sure that the roots of the plants can reach down and get moisture as needed. The substrate in here is mostly peat moss, so that dirt substance is actually peat moss. Up on the top, I have two varieties of plants right now. So this here is a um, paddle leaf cactus, like a prickly pear cactus, but it is the spineless variety, so it doesn't have any spikes. And then over there, I have a vine um, growing, the pothos vine. I think it has a few different names. You can see inside, I've got a little water bowl. Um, it's very shallow, I think, some of the water has already spilled and it has a few rocks too. Land snails um, are not aquatic. They can't breathe underwater. They can drown. So I wanted to make sure the water dish was really shallow. And I have some rocks, some little pieces of bark. I don't know if you can tell that piece of bark over there is actually like a little bridge. So they can crawl on the underside of it um, if they like. And let me also introduce my snails. So got one right up here he's trying to crawl out and then this one is chilling out on the lip of the bowl as well sorry it's out of focus you can see him there he's in focus and then one of them is down there on the bottom of the bowl just past the soil he's on the move there is another over here right at the base of the bridge. He kind of blends in. He's hiding, but that's where he's at. And then there's another right over here chilling on the piece of bark, just relaxing. He's all the way in his shell, so you can't hardly see him, but that round little thing, that's my other snail. So we have five snails in this enclosure. It's a big glass bowl. I think it's a decorative something decorative bowl of some kind. I actually got it at the thrift store for $4. So this was a really good find and it is probably almost 12 inches across at the top. It's pretty big. I don't know if you can see that. Almost kind of like an aquarium. Um, this is what I'm starting them off in. We'll see how big they get and if they need more space as time goes on. They have no problem suctioning onto the side of the glass so they can um, you know crawl up to the top. They do like to be high places it seems and then I do have a lid So I have this big glass plate that actually goes on top. Make sure I don't squish anybody. Sorry guys um, And that's why I have this pink bit of Plastic rubber as well because the glass on the glass didn't have a very tight seal and so um, I repurposed an old exercise band that we weren't using so that I had this um, kind of cushion to where it had a nice tight seal. And that way I can look in on them without having to disturb them, check on them, um, look through the glass. And I'm hoping that they will crawl on the underside of this plate so that I can watch um, them from the bottom side. You know, I can see the big foot squiggling across the top. So this is just a little introduction to my snail terrarium. Stay tuned for more.